Hi, I'm Mark McPherson and welcome to another one of my blogs in the series. 52 blogs in 52 weeks, with each blog being about one of my 52 types of people who are poorly behaved and at times downright difficult. And this week I'm talking about type 24, the liar. The liar is somebody who knows something but tells you they don't know it, doesn't know it but tells you they do know it, has done something and tells you they haven't, or hasn't done something and tells you they have done it. So there is another person in this we could include, and that's the person who says they're going to do something, but they don't end up doing it. But I treat that as a totally different type because often that sort of person really believes they're going to do it for you. I call them the commitment breaker, and I'll discuss those at another time. So let's just stick with those first, the people who know something and uh, tell you they don't, or vice versa, someone who has done something but tells you they haven't done it, or vice versa. So an example of that is that, uh, let's say someone in the home tells you they've done their chores and everything's under control, when in actual fact they haven't, well, to me, they're a liar. It's a harsh word, I get that, but I think that's the truth. They're being dishonest, they are lying to you. At work, I had an occasion where somebody uh, said, not once, but several times in a row, that they had been at work by 8.30 and actually wrote on their timesheet 8.30, but I knew they hadn't come to work till uh, after nine o'clock. So to do that is actually lying and it needs to be dealt with. As do people who say things like, oh, I sent you that email, and in actual fact, uh, on investigation, they haven't. Well, that's lying and I think it needs to be dealt with. Now to deal with this sort of behavior, I think you need to be very clear about some things. The very first thing you need to be clear about is the facts. No emotion in this. It's just simple facts. You wrote down 8.30 on your timesheet, but in actual fact you didn't get here till after 9. Fact. Nothing about, you've let me down again, this is disgraceful, uh, it's not teamly to be doing this, oh my goodness. Just simply the facts. You need to also be very clear about what is the problem with that. What is the problem with telling a lie in that fashion? You need to be very clear also about what you want from that person in the future and why that will be a good thing. And you also need to be very clear about what the rewards are, if there are any, for abiding by your wishes and doing the right thing, and what might be the penalties or punishments for doing the wrong thing. Now I think these people, when they are lying, need to be confronted. Now confronted is a harsh word, I know, just like the word lying is a harsh word, but they need to be confronted. It needs to be dealt with. If you don't, it's very bad for yourself. It's incredibly bad for the person who's actually doing the lying, believe it or not. It's not good for them. You have a duty of care to them as well. But it's incredibly bad as well for those around you, other people in the household and other people in the workplace. If people are lying and getting away with it. So I think it needs to be dealt with. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I think we've all met the liar in our, our life. I do really do hope you're not dealing with one now because they are terrible people and incredibly good at it. They can look at you straight in the face and just say, I put that report on your desk at nine o'clock this morning. If it's gone, well, you must have lost it. I put it there. These are the people who can tell you, I sent you that email. If you didn't get it, well, I can't help. That, that must be something to do with the, the, the email system because I always send my emails on time. They, they can look at you and say this stuff. It's extraordinary and it can be very hard to deal with. Get our facts right. Why is it a violation? What do you want? And be very clear about your punishments and possible uh, rewards. Anyway, let me leave it at that. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're under control. I hope the work is under control. I hope it's running smoothly for you. Wherever you are, I hope you're healthy. I hope you're happy. Now, if you want to discuss any of this uh, material at all, please go right ahead. Book yourself in. Go to my website. Go to uh, my uh, page on LinkedIn, for example. Book yourself in for a time and let's have a chat. Always happy to do that. All the very best. Bye now.